Hello there, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Last time, as you can see, we managed to clear the storm that had been plaguing Baron Dale Mesa by taking out the Darkness Tentacle, causing the, the windmill to go all crazy. And now we have been summoned back to Mama's place, although the, s the call to do so seems like it might have been a little... something a little off about it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I could still do here. And I'm kind of interested in doing that, because that's a spark. But I really am curious about the main plot here. So maybe I should do that. Aaron Gatewood. Okay, so this here is going to be um, Madame Blastrella. But yeah, I, I wish to return to Mama's workshop. And see just what the heck is going on. Doesn't appear to be here. Oh, hold the phone. Don't think I didn't see you, day. Yahoo! The garage. Jeannie, tell us about the garage. Baron Del Mesa is isolated, cut off from civilization by distance and choice. This necessitates a particular genius for making silk purses out of Sal's ears, using repurposed technology and salvaged parts in ways that defy imagination. Like most geniuses, Mama is extremely protective of her workspace. No one is allowed in her garage, lest they disturb the meticulous surroundings within. No one's allowed in her garage, you say? Well... Time to break that rule. We're going in. Ooh. Edge knows something's up. Oh no. a feeling the hunter of the mesa defeat daphne so that's her name huh <gasps> look whoever that is took the real mama prisoner i told you that last transmission sounded fishy bebo you said nothing of the sort daphne daphne you little now now now, no, Edge. Best to keep a clear head. You need to play the long game here. Running away? <laughs> Are you gonna run away again in order to save your own skin? Let me use Mama for target practice. Come on! Or will you try to rescue her? You'll fail, of course, and your quest to stop Cursa will be over. The whole galaxy suffers then. I'll show you mercy. No, you'd never stop Cursa anyhow. I, at least, can promise to be much more merciful in victory. So? So what will you choose? This Daphne... Daphne's a crack shot from a distance. We bum rush her and we're fishing a barrel. Does this mean there's no cucumber water? There is something about this Daphne character. Like, the one cutscene where we were introduced to her, when we saw the sparks being absorbed by uh, Cursa, just definitely gave the vibe that, yeah, she's crazy, to put it mildly. And I'm definitely getting that vibe here, too. She is, like, the most evil of the spark hunters. Anyways, Daphne prepares to attack from an elevated position when she is fully protected, even behind partial cover. Able to fire two projectiles at two separate targets. Oh, so she has Mario's power of attack. Uses ooze effects on opponents when they get too close. And her attack is super strong. Actually, but even behind partial cover. 
So not only is her attack like Mario's, but it's long range and hits over partial cover like rabid peaches. Yeah, how far does this even? I don't even see a range on this. Slimy swell. Meteors with ooze rain down on enemies, poisoning all within range. Okay, that's dangerous. Abilities. Fresh start can change the battleground layout, which I'm guessing that's going to be similar to um, Midnight's battle effect. Basically, it means there's going to be multiple phases. An optimized cover. Full protection even behind partial. Oh, I do not like that. And she can climb always returns to the initial position I'm a little confused on what some of that means all right well uh, we need to manage our team and last time I made a mistake so I'm gonna make sure I have someone new in this so I'm bringing in Mario himself um I think my best bet for teammates though is gonna be rabid peach and Bowser because they can both deal with cover. Actually, mm, I don't know if Rabbit Peach's attack is gonna work though, because her thing is that she bypasses partial cover, but Daphne apparently has full protection. I guess I won't know if I don't try. Also, this is the one time where I'm saying I kind of wish I had this. To the point that I'm considering resetting Bowser's uh, skill tree. You know what? We are. We're going to reset his skill tree. Because for this situation, I really want this power. You know what? Yeah, we're... Ah, dang it. No. Yeah. We need to focus on that. Still want to get a lot of movement stuff. It, not... Oh, didn't mean to do that, but whatever. <sighs> Dang it. Still want to power up the rabid mecha coops. Uh, yeah, just max out your weapon power, get HP chill out, and we'll leave it at that. Yeah, I'm good with that. It's like, I am more than happy to make this adjustment just to be able to break through her cover. Oh, shoot, I forgot, I gotta check Sparks. So, obviously, we're gonna have to deal with multiple phases, which means we're gonna have multiple other enemies to deal with. So I can't make any assumptions on the enemies I'm gonna be fighting. The only thing I know for a fact is that Daphne herself is resilient to ooze, and that she can use an ooze-based super attack. But I don't think that I need necessarily to um, take advantage of... Um, Brain please work. I don't think I need to worry about having ooze defense, is what I'm trying to say. So, with that in mind, what do I think I need? Gargantua fan, I think, would actually be useful. If nothing else, to push her around. Electroid. I'm gonna switch you out, maybe, for someone else. Yeah, let's get Starburst back, just for some raw power. I'm good to use you, but I'm gonna want to level you up for sure. I think I'm good with your some with your uh, sparks and Bowser. Do I maybe want to change? Yeah, I'm gonna change Electro Get On for Cryo Get On. Yeah, get a little extra element in there. I think I'm good with this. Because I don't think the summons will help me too, too much. Well, mm, actually, now that I say that, the Oozer could still be useful. Even though the Oozer isn't going to do too much damage with his attack, his ability to turn off her attacks and abilities, I think that might be worth it. In that case, I'm going to switch this out to get the Oozer Master. Okay. That's enough prep work. Here we go. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Uh... 
Bowser, you go in here. Mario, you go in there too. Grab it, Peach, follow them all. Actually, wait, what am I doing? No, other way, other way. Reverse, reverse. Okay, how do I wanna go about things here? Mar Mario, I think I'm gonna keep on that side. But I want them to go this way because of the pipes. I think... Actually, no. Mario, you are gonna go this way. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turbocharge straight out the gate. And get over there. Attack! Get your butt in here. And hide. Rabbit Peach. Hmm. Okay. I've got my plan. Bowser, you're gonna go over here. Yep. And the reason I did that is because I want Rabbit Peach to end up over here. Now you can kill that fool and summon your oozer without him getting distracted by a weak opponent. And he ended up getting distracted by the weakest of opponents because I didn't think about the Goombas. That's okay, though. Do I want to just go straight for you? Maybe. Let's summon the Mecha Koopas first. See if they can just exterminate all the Goombas. There we go. It looks like they're gonna focus on that last Sea Stooge, which is A-OK -okay with me. And now we can shoot you without fear. Boom! And of course your cover doesn't get destroyed. I suppose I should have expected that. Oh well. I guess that means my respect might have been without purpose. Now let's see what you do. Yeesh. Did a lot. Okay. Rabbit Peach. What do I want you to do? Well, first of all, let's find out. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. But, I land here. Suddenly, this will hit. Now, Mario. You can get your butt over there. Bam, bam. Stompy, stompy. Dash. And smash. Get him, Rabbit Kong. Whoa. She summoned an eclipse. Yep, and the battlefield comes back and it's all different. With pools of acid too. Which basically just equates to more out of bounds nonsense. Okay, so we got squashers, we got lone wolves. Great, my favorite. And of course, Daphne. I'm gonna need to be a bit more careful on this excursion. All right. 
Step one, send the Mecha Koopas through the pipe after the Squashettes. Let's hope that they can finish her off. <laughs> she didn't even move there. <laughs> Alright, last one. Not enough to finish the job. But, with a little dash, and another little dash, I think that we shall be fine. Actually, I think I want to follow that path now. Now that I stop and think about it, this path here. Mm. That guy, though. I got an idea. Mario, I need you to give Rabbit Peach a boost. Yes, up here. Uh, yeah, go this way. Summon the Uza. Lock down the wolf. Blast the squash. And we're going to focus on that squash. Well done. Well done. So now that I don't need to worry about the lone wolf this round... I'm gonna shoot it with you. And Mario. Into the sky. Get a little jump there. You're gonna die by ooze, so I don't need to worry about the squashette here. There we go. And I could just knock you back a bit. Yeah, let's knock you back. Let's go. Let's go. Unfortunately, not enough to be fatal. And in fact, Mario is in a very bad spot. He's going to get shot and possibly killed by Daphne. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, Mario's gonna die. I am so thankful that she split her attack. Okay. Mario, eat mushrooms. You too, Bowser. Now then. Uh, Bowser, what can we do with you? We're gonna do this. Freeze that squashette in place. Gonna hide a little over that away. Why can't. I didn't. Oh, because I ate a mushroom, right. I'm trying to figure out why I couldn't do anything else. Okay, Mario. Before I do anything with you, I'm gonna want to see what I can do with you. Okay, yeah, you can kill the lone wolf. Take no chances there. Alright, shoot that thing. That's it, right? No, you can still do something. But I can't really think of anything worth doing. Okay, that could have gone worse. Could on could have gone better, could have gone worse. Uh, I don't really have anything great I can do with Rabbit Peach's movement. She's so far away. 
At least I can get rid of that guy. And Bowser can play with this... This, uh, wolf over here. Who is thankfully gonna be weak to fire and will probably die from this. If he doesn't, Bowser can just shoot Beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna shoot you. I could damage the portal, but I think I'm at a point where I need to focus on you. Do a little turbo charge action. Okay, that squash shed is gonna cause potential problems. Unless I go back here. Why can't I shoot you? That's a little dumb. Ah, whatever. Shoot, shoot. And, and turn. Jeez, Rabbit Peach took a lot of damage there. So wait, does her attack actually act like Luigi's, where the farther away I am, the more damage it does? Because it did a lot more. Oh, wait, no, it hit the Oozer. It didn't hit Ra Rabbit Peach. I don't know at this point. All right. Rabbit Peach. Uh, well, okay, before I do anything with you, I was getting ready to use a shoe. Um... Let's run this away. No, we're, we're focusing on Daphne. I think that with a little creativity, I can beat her this round. Yep, I can. Use a shoe. Get a little jump. Are you kidding me? Well, so much for that. I guess what I'll do instead is attack you. What a waste of a good shoe. And, oh wait, can I maybe reach you here? <sighs> Almost, but not quite. Alright, hero sight it is. If Mario could have still moved, I probably would have used a pal block there. Thank goodness those ooze meteors do basically no damage. It's obvious that their whole point is to uh, generate the super effect. Die. All right, time for another eclipse. Let's see what round three is. I was afraid of this. I'm only gonna be able to attack her from the very back of the back. Oh my lord, this is horrible! Look at this insanity! Okay, Rabbit Peach. We need to do some healing. All right. Get rid of, uh, get rid of you. I need to play the super long game here. Summon some Mecha Koopas. One of them is gonna get rid of the bob -omb. The rest are going for you, Mega Ultra Chicken. Oh! Looks like they're splitting up, actually. At least a little bit. Okay. 
Bowser. Do I want to shoot that guy? Now nah, let's shoot this guy. There we go. Let's go ahead and summon an oozer as well. Why did you do that, you stupid oozer? Ah, whatever. Team jump. And going in here should take me right next to him. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's not ideal. But it's what I'm doing. Alright, you summon the Mecha Koopa to yourself. Like an idiot. We got ourselves a scoper. And a dead oozer. Summoning that was useless. Yeah, you basically have full arena coverage. So even though we're super far away, you can still attack us. At that point. You know what? I should have done this before I dashed. I have Electro Dash. Let's do it. Oh, you're resistant! Dang! Blast it all! Okay, Mario, push forward. Uh, I am so afraid. Okay, Rabbit Peach, let's see if I can get you up with Mario. Now. Okay, that's the pipe that I took to get up here, Mario. Yeah, I need to get rid of this guy. So, let's do a little team jump. So I can do some bounces. No, I need... That's worth it! And you're gonna hide in this corner, although before you do, send him flying. Oh, that destroyed so much cover. That was a bad idea. All right, uh, in that case, Rabbit Peach, get back down. Let's see what you can do. Ah, uh, man, I've got so many options, but I think I know what I want to do. Ice him! Masterfully done. Marvelous. Now, Rabbit Peach, okay. allow Bowser an opportunity to slam. <laughs> and you're gonna just shoot those two. As for you, now I'm gonna leave them alone for now. Hang on, how much health do you have? 2,400, how much does this do? 1330, not even close. All right, attack this guy. It's the best thing I can do. And turn. Yep. Wait, he didn't attack me? Oh, but you did. Oh crap, you can climb! Mario! Ugh. I should have kept Pulsar in. 
I have a bad feeling this is gonna end up a loss. Well, I'm gonna try my best to prevent that from happening. I'm trying to think how I want to go about this. Obviously, I need to get rid of those freaking magnafowls. Okay. I'm a dash. And give him a smash! And now, Rabbit Peach, I want you to also jump over here. Perfect. Get up here. Now you are in a safer spot. Summon the Makakoopas! Okay. Wait for Magnafowl here to get... There we go. He's going to be far enough away now. And he's got the rabbit Mecha Koopas to distract him. That's what I needed. Uh, Rabbit Peach, expose yourself a little bit. I need Bowser to stay back and heal. Eat a mushroom. And end turn. I completely missed you. Didn't miss you, though. Still a turn away from healing. I can get pretty far ahead this next turn. Bowser, you can't. You can't do what I was hoping you could do. All right, get up there. Can you? No, not quite. All right. Eat a bag of shrooms. And shoot that guy. You're also going to eat a bag of shrooms. Now then. Rabbit Peach, you're going on your own mission. Thanks. Right here. Shoot. Of course, I've got to deal with magicians. Yeah, I saw that coming. Tougher than I thought. You didn't even hit anybody with that. Okay. The mission now is to get Bowser up top with Rabid Peach. That is the mission. In the meantime, Rabid Peach just needs to stay alive on her own. All right. I'm kind of hoping he runs far enough away. Oh, thank goodness. That's exactly what I wanted to see. You hide like this and shoot him. Excellent. Now, summon your oozer. Uh -huh. 
And attack! You can attack that cover all you want. It's crystallized darkness. Uh-oh. Possible problems? Bowser, please tell me that you won't get hit. He got hit, but he survived. Oh, my lord. Bag of mushrooms, please! And exterminate! Alright, I forget. What are you resistant to? You're resistant to shock, which means my shock dash is useless. But yeah, I need to get rid of the additions. Although, maybe I should focus on this one. I'm gonna focus on this one first, because he's closer to where Bowser is. Would've been nice if the Dark on Oozer would've, you know, um, <laughs> attacked one of them. Uh, these other Magnafowls are getting uncomfortably close. At least the Scopers have basically given up the fight. Okay, Bowser, let's see what I can do with you now. Exactly what I was hoping to do. Alright, we're gonna get rid of this ooze. And heal. I didn't think this through. Um, okay. I'm not gonna dash because of the guy being oozed. But we are just gonna shoot him. And rather than attack, uh, yeah, let's summon the Mecha Koopas. Any day. Oh, but the Mecha Koopas have all been oozed. Ooh, but wait a minute. Let's see what I can do now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I didn't even think about doing this. Boom! <laughs> oh, you're not hiding behind your cover anymore. Not that it matters, unfortunately. You know, my turn is complete. Alright, are you gonna heal? Yeah, that's what I thought. So I still gotta take out the other magician before I can start really focusing on Daphne. But at least I don't need to worry about Daphne anymore. Alright, do a little Healy jump. Dash. 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 And... Dash. Smash. And bam. Alright. No more 
healing, no more shields, no way to attack us. Daphne is done. Whew. Definitely the strongest of the Spark Hunters. Right, one last little thing. Heal. And get you very far away. So now I don't need to worry about the Ooze Comets spreading. There we go. Might as well summon more rabid Mecha Koopas. If nothing else, to be a distraction of sorts. Plus, I can throw them over there again for fun. Yeah, that Magnafowl. That Magnafowl ain't able to do anything. Nice try. All right. Have some fun. There we go. Take that. And goodbye. I didn't mean to throw back the, me the mech poopas, but I wasn't sure. Darkness and Extra Crystal obtained. I feel bad that Mario died in that, but who oh boy. Oh no. Hi. Is going on. Oh, my Lord, it's Rosalina. <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? Although I am kind of curious what's going on right now. She doesn't want to leave because Rosaline is there. <laughs> Okay, I guess that was just to escape that dark mess dimension area. Still, rather confused. Uh, Rosalina. Rosalina saved us. That crystal is proof of her bravery, but why is she a prisoner inside that thing? Cursor. That thing is Cursor. And yes, Rosalina is firmly under its control. This is not her doing, Rabbit Rosalina. But, 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 huh? But if, if we can't stop Cursa and Rosalina can't get free on her own, then she's gone forever. I think I know how you feel, because I feel it too. Huh? But I also feel something else. While I am sad, I am also determined, optimistic even. I feel... I feel... You feel hope. Well said. You'll see. Your AI might be new to emotions, but if y'all take a closer look at that crystal, you'll see she's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, this ain't a dark mess crystal. This is something else. The Megabug. An abomination created partly from the mutated DNA of rabbits. It was thought to have been defeated. Wait, we're tying in the lore of, of Kingdom Battle into this. Okay, I have to admit, wasn't expecting that, but I'm all for it. Please, go on. Yet, a fragment remained, floating aimlessly throughout the galaxy. Merged with and powered by stellar debris, it mutated once more. Slowly, it gained sentience. Desiring to grow, it fed upon the life energies of the galaxy, eventually transforming into Cursa. One fateful day, some Lumas were playing with some rabbits who were passing by. Intrigued by the powerful energies emitted by the Luma's joy, Cursa was drawn to the Comet Observatory. Cursa approached them while masking its presence. Even Rosalina could not sense its arrival until it was too late. At the last possible moment, Rosalina put herself between the Lumas and Cursa in order to protect them. The Rabbids and Lumas were saved, but something terrible happened. An enormous blast of energy. The Rabbids and Lumas were flung far away. Where they were merged together, creating a new powerful species now known as Sparks. Rosalina had also merged with Cursa. Cursa was in control, but felt Rosalina rebelling against the Union. To crush Rosalina's will once and for all, Cursa needs to gather sparks and absorb their energy. Then, it created an army made of corrupted rabbits and mind-controlled minions of Bowser, along with the Spark Hunters to lead them. Yet, Rosalina does not fear Cursa. From the very start, Rosalina knew she could count on her friends. She knew she could count on us. Oh, oh. Wow. Rosalina knows we're coming. That's why she sent us a message. If she thinks we can help her, then there's gotta be a way. Best not keep her waiting. Best not keep her waiting, then. Now, if y'all excuse me, I got a shield buster to bang out. I would ask why it's a rubber ducky. It's it's not exactly the firepower I was expecting, but but I trust you implicitly, Mama. We have just enough purified darkness energy to reach Cursa's stronghold as well. Remember this. It ain't my shield buster that's gonna save Rosalina. Y'all have hope, but you gotta stick together. Unity. Uh -huh. Unity. That's what this thing's all about. Thank you, Mama. We will not forget it, we promise. Well then. Well, what you waiting for? Give it to goobers, I ain't got all day to yammer. <laughs> Personal growth. I definitely was not expecting that, uh, that story. I don't really know what to say about it. But, dang. Uh... Sorry, I'm literally just trying to sit here and, and think of how to... I, I just, I'm just just processing the story that we just got. Because... Like, again, it's been obvious that Rosalina and Cursa were, you know, inextricably linked, right? That's been obvious pretty much from the moment we've seen Cursa. But... I had, I, I, I had not even begun to think that it was, that it could have been, um, 
the mega bug. And that it was literally just Cursa was the mega bug and that it had fused with Rosalina just outright. I was I was not ready for that revelation. Wow. Now the only thing that is left unexplained at this point is what Dark Mess is. And at this point I think it's literally just remnants of um the mega bug at this point. Like, you know, just energy created by Cursa. I guess. Anyway, we got a couple of memories out of this, too. It was on Berendel Mesa that we crossed paths with the most vile, corrupt spark hunter of them all, Daphne. She toyed with us like a cat would a mouse, though she is derived from neither. Cursa instead fused rabid DNA with a rare species of pink climbing rose, those often found in secretive corners of moonlit gardens. She is sneaky and uses her thorns well, not to defend, but to destroy. You know, that is another thing. Like, I was always, I was kind of wondering, you know, how is it that Cursa is able to merge things like the Super Merge did? But it's like, that's why. Because it's part of the Mega Bug. That is wild. Seeing Rosalina free herself from Cursa's control, only to be retaken, brought us to our lowest of lows and our highest of highs. Thankfully, in that order. It could have gone so differently, but I wanted, no, needed to feel hope, and so I found my reasons. Mama agreed, and the heroes rallied, and we were united and revitalized. Such a small and tangible thing, hope, yet it is everything. Well put. Well put, indeed. Well, needless to say... I think that's definitely going to do it for now. That was a long and grueling battle. And now that it's been resolved, we have the means to access Curse's Fortress. However, we're not going there yet. We will address Curse's Stronghold at a later point. Because next time on Mario Plus Rabbids, Sparks of Hope, I'm going back here. I think that we'll have the means to finish both Terraflora and Berendale Mesa before I even set foot on Curse's Stronghold. So I'm going to try my darnest. We'll see. But we're obviously going to start here on Terraflora. Because we got a gigantic Magic Hoopa that needs squashing. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.